Today I'm going to show everybody what I've got in the tool bag for my Honda. Now one thing you might want to consider is, you know, a couple of things on my bike are different. Like the rear axle, I've got a castle nut with a cotter pin versus the uh, factory lock nut. So a couple of things are different in uh, my bike versus what yours might be. This is a Carhartt tool roll. I got it on Adventure Rider uh, for this, this charity. Uh, ahead and roll this out show you what I take with my CRF 250L now there's a couple of things that I still need to put in here one of them is a clip type master link for the chain the other is cotter pins for uh, my rear axle I don't have those in here but everything else is pretty complete um, one addition you might consider making is if you're going on a pretty big trip, you might want to take actual tire tubes with you. Because uh, I just have the cement and the tube patches. Now I do plan on eventually getting a front fender bag or um, some kind of solution to that and carrying an actual front and rear tube with me. I've got an air pressure gauge. I've got some... Uh, miscellaneous wiring bits here uh, some scotch locks the blue and red butt connectors spare fuse some eyelets a couple little pieces of wire got a 17 millimeter wrench a 24 millimeter wrench a 19 millimeter wrench and I've got 12 13 8 and 10 in a ratchet wrench uh, you could just bring a standard one. I just happen to have those laying around extra. Got a set of metric Allen wrenches, slip joint pliers, wire strippers, and I just pulled the spring off of them and the uh, handles, the rubber handles, so it was easier to transport. Uh, this is a bicycle pump. It's, uh, you know, the handle snaps out and it extends quite a bit, but you can get them. Walmart, Target, any place like that for like 10 bucks. Uh, a lot easier than carrying an electric one, I think. I've got a utility knife. I usually carry a pocket knife on me as well. Got a vice grip, and that is a 7CR vice grip. You can use that as an emergency lever or foot control. A uh, little little bit of electric tape and I put it in a bag because they do tend to have the adhesive come off and the black stuff gets everywhere especially in the heat uh, needle nose pliers 8 inch adjustable wrench uh, this is a what is that 6 in 1 I think or 5 in 1 5 in 1 screwdriver and another vice grip here tip about vice grips, always make sure that they uh, lock shut, that way they don't pop open in your toolbox or whatever. That's a 5WR, also could be used for emergency foot controls or hand controls. Uh, I've got some zip ties, a couple little ones, some big ones, a valve core tool, no, it's a fishing tool on that end and then you've got your empty and stem remover. I have a quarter inch drive T-handle, 8 millimeter socket with a U-joint, and then I have, I think that's a 6 inch extension. Put that back. And then I have a couple of the Motion Pro spoons, they're 08. 0115 Motion Pros, and I also have one of these. I bought these initially, but I like these bigger levers better. And I found that if you have a third one, it makes uh, installing tires a lot easier. That being said, if I had to actually change a tire on this bike, I don't know if I could do it out on the road. I could probably get the one side off and get a tube in it and get a tube repaired. But I'm so bad at changing tires, I usually end up destroying the bead or ruining the tube every time I try it. So you have to practice to get better at it, but it, it sucks when it costs you money every time. So that is my toolkit for the Honda that I take with me. 
And again, I still need a clip type master link and because I've modified my rear axle, I need a few cotter pins. So that's the kit. Uh, go ahead and build your own. It's always good to have tools. You'll, you might complain about the extra weight, but as soon as you need one of these tools, it was well worth it. I don't even notice this is on the bike. Uh, it all rolls up really nice. It doesn't even take up that much storage. So uh, there's better ways to do it, I'm sure. Um, share with us what you do, how you carry your tools below in the comments. Thanks for watching.